friend, it's Colette from Caloundra on the Sunshine Coast. I have been craving carbs all day today, so there's only one thing for it. Let's knock up a batch of cheese and chive scones in my Thermomix. They are super quick and easy to make, and my goodness, they taste delicious. Let's get started. So these cheese and chive scones are a real favourite of mine. They are on the UK site and you'll be able to find those with your cookie on Cookie Doo. So let's go find them on my machine because I've already synced them onto my Thermomix. So I'm going to press menu, into recipes and then I'm going to go to my lists. Now I've created a whole range of lists that contain my favourite Thermomix recipes. I have got Asian for example and you can scroll down, you can see desserts, dips, drinks, Easter, entrees, so many recipes that I cook in my Thermomix and I love the fact that all these recipes are triple tested and they come out beautifully. I'm a master chef when I cook with my Thermomix. So my scones are actually in the baking savoury segment. Here they are, cheese and um, cheese scones. So what we're going to do here, I just want to show you this little button here, quite a few people that I um, work with with their Thermomix, they aren't aware of this button and it's fabulous. So you can actually look at variations and there's variations to these scones that you can have a play with. You can also, for example, call up the nutritional value. So down here you can see that one of these scones has got 26 grams of carbs. So that is really, really going to finish my uh, craze for carbs once I have one of these. Um, but you've got fat, you've got cholesterol, you've, um, you've got dietary fibre, etc. So there's lots of useful information there that you can have a look at. So we're going to start this recipe. The first thing that comes up is a list of all the ingredients that we need. And I love to get those ingredients out on a tray so I'm ready to rock and roll. So let's start and play. So I'm going to press the start. And the first thing we have to do is to heat up the oven and off I go to do that. So my oven's um, heating up to 220, so let's get on and see how easy it is to make these scones. So the first thing that um, it's asking us for is some plain flour. Now you'll get all the measurements when you actually load this up from your cook key. So that's gone in there. I love how it brings all the measurements up. It's, you don't have to go and drag out a scales or anything like that. And we simply press next. And we want three level teaspoons of baking powder. Don't have to sift them or anything like that. Press next. And we want to pop in there some salt. And we press next. The lid goes on. The measuring cup goes on. And we press next. And then everything comes up automatically. The time, everything comes up. All I have to do is turn this dial round to the little black side. Then we press next. I'm tear my scales back and now I need to add 120 grams or so of cold butter that's been cubed so that goes in and you want it to be nice and cold. We press next. Um, some cheese is going in, so you want a really, well I love a really tasty, tasty cheese. Um, I think it just gives it that gorgeous cheesiness which I really love in these scones. Um, next, some chives which I've just picked and cut from the garden. Beautiful. Love using my herbs that I use in the garden. And they're so good for you too. So, on with the lid, in with the measuring cup. We press next, turn the dial, we press next, I'm going to add some milk in here. measure cup and the dough function has automatically come up. I love that. Everything's just so, so easy with the Thermomix. Get that going. That's, that's 
that's the kneading finished. Now it's asking me to scrape down the sides of the bowl. But I'm just going to show you. Um, hopefully you can see that okay. Beautifully done. And have you seen these? These are the new Thermomix spatulas. They're beautiful and long and they're just perfect. I love using them. And you can buy these on the um, thermomix.com.au site. Absolutely brilliant little spatulas, these ones. And then we do next. Next. Measure cup. And we're going to knead the dough again for a couple of seconds. Okay, so that's all done. All I now need to do is to tip this dough out. I mean, that was literally, what, a couple of minutes? And, and it's done beautifully. And out it all comes. Give the little base a twirl so it all drops out. Oh my goodness. And all I have to do now is to shape these. And I'm shaping these on my thermo mat. These are brilliant for all your pastry and baking needs. It means you don't have to get lots of extra flour. These scones, I have to tell you, are amazing. And they freeze so well. So they're great for you to take into work as a work snack. So I'm just going to roll this out. So it's a, one about, I guess, 1.5 centimeters, something like that. You can have them taller if you want. That's good. And then I've got a little pastry round. I'm just going to cut these out and I'm going to pop them onto a tray. So I'm just brushing the tops of these scones with some milk. And then what I like to do, just as an additional little touch, is I like to sprinkle on just a little bit of grated parmesan that I've also grated in my Thermomix. So it's lovely and fresh. And I can smell it just so cheesy. These are going to be amazing. And then once I've done all that, they're going to be popped into the oven for about 15 minutes. And, and then I'm going to have one with some freshly made butter that I did this morning in my Thermomix, of course, and I'm going to enjoy it very much. So I'll come back to you once they're cooked. The scones have been in the oven for 15 minutes, so let's check out and see. Oh, they look great. Oh my goodness, I am going to enjoy these. Can you see how gorgeous they are? So I'm going to let them cool for just a couple of minutes and then I'm going to splatter one of them with lots of butter. So they were so quick and easy to make in the Thermomix and um, they always taste good and you know, why would you not want them? So my name's Colette, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great ideas with the Thermomix. Go make some of these scones, you'll find them on Cookie Doo on the English site. They are delicious. Until next time, bye for now.